Big Boy's Big Neighborhood boy. 50 Cent is up in here. 50, what's your uh, what's your relationship with Eminem right now? That's always good. Like, and to, to me, like, I, you know, when you get older, you, you don't really expect someone to come into your life that you can completely value on, on a level, like, that you know completely has good intentions for you. Like, he made so much money selling records that he don't really have interest in a lot of the other stuff, mm. like the brand extension and stuff. So... For me, like they'll look and they'll be asking me questions, like, so let me, so how'd you do that? How much they gave you? You know, like, on, on the deals that I go out and do away from music, right? Like, him and Dre the same. Like, to, for Dre, his, his big venture is the beats, the headsets. You yes, see sir. what I'm saying? Now let me ask you that, but, man. What with your headphone deal at one point fifty, there was uh, you felt like did, did they kind of like get you? Not, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you weren't a part of Beats by Dre. And you went right. and you did your own headphones, but was there a situation where you felt like maybe you should have been a part of that? Well, if, if you know that I'm the, the guy in the system that has the capability to move the needle, there's nobody else in, in, in the scope system that sold vitamin water, right? You know, then you would you would contractually involve me early. Now, are you any so, way affiliated? You know, the fact that I'm the last guy. Like they they even did uh, with a Diddy Beats deal before they come around, and then and then. When, when I actually set up my own company, the entire company, and they look around and go, oh, like, you're going to be a complete competitor. And so, and, and no. I'm actually, I'm out. If you don't see me, like, if I'm when I'm tucked away, it's because I'm working on a different project. Like, I may not be on, on the actual music front, and sometimes they need a break. They need for you to go away for a little bit, but then I'll be working on the actual the film. So I set that up. Because for me, idle times will commit trouble for me. Mm-hmm. And I know this about myself, so I keep myself active and working on projects that can allow me to continue success. How's your relationship with Dr. Dre? I, I love Dre. Like you know what? What's ill is you can't have somebody like like no matter how I look at my success in my career, period, in music, anything that I've done, right? Because without success in music, I wouldn't have had the ability to be involved with the other companies and on the marketing level, or had the finances to allow myself to you know buy my way into those deals. Hmm. So. Without in the club and Dre's guidance coming in on the first record, how could you, you know, none of those other things would have happened. Like, that's the biggest record I made in my career still. So even when Dre, Dre could be difficult at times and not intentionally. Right. It's just he'll be on his own, like, in, in his world, doing what he's doing, and you'll be like, that's, that's when you, when Snoop says something, it's out of frustration for him not being able to have what he would consider regular communication. With somebody, because Dre's setup is is special. It's 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 just a Dre setup, and then M's world is a whole other world separate from that. And, and Jimmy will be like, "You you the guy that got to keep this functional, like in between the, the two of them, like you got to stay." So at different points, it's you compromising what you would do for you, like on your like. Wait, wait a minute, where's my world at? If if I'm fitting in the Dre's world and then fitting in the M's world, and and then you know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah. keep finding myself in then instead of developing, you know, what, what I'm doing. Before we recorded the song for the detox, we, we had to sit down and talk because he, like like the same confusion that you're talking about, like with the, the Twitter thing when you're talking about the headsets and stuff like that, we had to clear that up face-to-face, me and Dre, you yes, know, sir. personally. Man, we got 50 Cent in the neighborhood. Y'all stick around y'all radio's Big Boy's Neighborhood. Yeah. Big Boy's Neighborhood. Yeah. 50 up in here. 50, uh, f- first off, man, um, are you dating right now, man? Am I w- looking for an invitation in the mail, or is is there a, a Miss 50 coming? What's happening, brother? No, nah, I'm single. Nah, he's like, no. <laughs> what does single mean, though? Well, single means, like, like you know, I'm enjoying myself. Right, So, but single yeah, isn't like, out. you know when you when you fill out some kind of application, some, right. some kind of document where it says married, single, you know, sing, so single means no girlfriend, no nothing. Nah, yeah, I mean, like, uh, yeah, Sometimes, like, I mean, are you married, bitch? Yeah, I'm married, man. Yeah, yeah. Why, you you got something better? I, I'll go. What's that name? <laughs> Talk to him. You want to buy me out of my marriages? I know a few married men that function like single men. Yeah, say, you know a few married men who function like single Big men? Doesn't- Function like a single man. But you know, when I when, when I was single, I functioned like a single man. Now I got to function like a dad and a, and a married man. You know. Unle- okay. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you, I'm functioning like a single man. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> man. So go ahead. Hey, uh, fifty. How was uh, Chelsea Handler? Like she said that you guys used to, you know. Yeah. What's up with the Chelsea? Bumping the bed. 
the Chelsea Handler thing, she admitted that you guys were a couple when you told us you weren't. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm never going to tell. Like, right. I think, um, you know, Chelsea's amazing. So, like, anybody who's who's been around her values her, you know, her friendship. She's, her whole circle is a whole different, uh, it's a whole different experience for me. Mm. You know, like, I, I've even said things in the past about, um, like, when we talk about, like, people who choose alternative lifestyles. Right. I say I don't know. I don't know. I don't hang out with them. I don't have anything in common. But um, in, in Chelsea's camp, there's, there's some interesting things that go on around in there. Like it's cause it's real diverse, and it, it kind of was a whole new planet. Like I landed on. Do you feel like that's why you it didn't know? work you out? You landed on the planet, or you landed on the the. the, the <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know the Earth is not flat. Right. Hello. <laughs> We're just going down. We got Fifty Cent in the neighborhood. Big Boy's Big neighborhood. Boy. 50 Cent in the neighborhood, man. 50 Cent, man. I've been asking this question. Nicki Minaj, ass, real or fake? I, I don't know. I, at this point, I, I, does it matter? Yeah, they do. I can tell by the way you say, I don't know. Like, man, what? Like, that? Oh, yay. Like, I can't make 100 million I off of it. Anybody else, I'd be like that. I mean, that's work. It's work. But I think if you, like, at this point, it's, it's so much of that that goes on that, man, like, like when I did the, uh, the, the, when, I, when I said I was the guest photographer of the Smooth magazine, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. You see it. They come through there like it's a regular old old body shop. Like, it, it, is it is it a lot of fake ass out there right now, Fifty? Yeah, it's a lot of work yeah. out there, and, then, and some of them you can't even really tell because they they, lim- they didn't do as much. Right, right. Like the, the ones that are successful, you can you know see that there was some work done. Have you ever paid to get uh, somebody's ass done or their breast in hands? No, nah, why would you do that? Like, I, I mean, it, even if you. Uh, if I if it came like that, the package came like that, I take it like that. Right, right. Have you ever <laughs> have you ever like felt on a butt and then realized it wasn't real, like you thought it was until you felt on it? That's a bad job. Like if you can feel it, then you went to the wrong. They went to the wrong people. They got that stuff from around the sink. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just putting caulk in their butt. <laughs> It's going down, man. We got we got caulk. C A. Yeah. We were in the neighborhood, big boys' neighborhood. <laughs>